Stocks are the stuff of dreams. Big wins on the markets turning one from rags to riches. Or at least that's how the movies portray it. For many, they induce heart palpitations and restless nights. However, here are five quickfire reasons why stocks are better than property. Welcome to another episode of Money Matters. But first, let's bust a couple of myths. Some say there is less work and less complication when buying stocks than buying property. I see where they're coming from, but to not conduct thorough enough research on what you are buying is a dangerous way to build and manage a stock portfolio. I would agree that buying mutual funds and index tracking ETFs requires less research than stocks though. Some say, real estate provides a better return than stocks. This is fundamentally not true. But there are certain reasons why property ends up providing a better return than stocks. But that's due to the relationship between the investor and property, and not because property provides a better return than stocks. Now, let's get on to the positives. One, stocks are more liquid than property giving the stockholders the ability to quickly turn stocks into cash by selling a portion of their portfolio. Property, on the other hand, takes time to sell and probably even longer at the price you actually want to sell at. Furthermore, you may not need that much cash, but you cannot sell a portion of your property. Two, it is easier to build a diverse portfolio of stocks than it is with property, given budget constraints. There are, of course, REITs, real estate investment trusts, but these are a hybrid of the two asset classes where you can buy stocks in a trust that manages a property portfolio. When buying stocks with a relatively small amount of capital, you can be co-owner in the world's biggest corporations. Three, the diversification also allows you to better customize your portfolio. You can employ an investment strategy exactly to what works best for your circumstances and investment objectives. With such a high level of customization, you can also adjust to market conditions, setting up a bullish stance when markets rally and employing some defensive strategies in a market downturn. Four, there are lower costs associated with buying, selling and owning stocks. Whilst your mileage may vary depending on where you reside, the transaction fees, taxes and other associated maintenance costs associated with stocks are lower. And arguably, less time may be needed in managing a stock portfolio versus managing property. Five, in relation to its volatility, it is possible to make a significant return over a short period of time. Whilst by now you probably know that I advise against this for retail investors, this ability, however, does allow you to make a quick buck to be made targeting specific stocks after thorough research. So those are five quick fire reasons why stocks are better than property. And let us know your reasons in the comments why you're a fan of stocks. Thank you for joining us on this episode. Let us know what other topics you would like to hear about in the future videos. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next episode of Money Matters. Money Matters.